This is Vosh Bodhi with another TTV. Talk to Vosh. Emmy Award winning producer Josh Howard talks about his documentary, The Lavender Scare, a film which chronicles the birth of government sanctioned discrimination against the LGBTQ communities and the unlikely hero who rose to fight it. My name is Josh Howard. I'm the producer and director of The Lavender Scare documentary. Josh's award winning career at CBS News and 60 Minutes was about to come in handy a chance encounter with a colorful novel was about to change his life. I was happily retired from a long career in uh, television news and was not really looking for a project. And I came across a book called The Lavender Scare, written by this guy, David Johnson. He's a professor at the University of South Florida. And I was just reading this book and I was stunned by this information. I'm in the generation, you know, a little bit after the heart of The, the Lavender Scare, but Certainly growing up, you know, knew that the 1950s were not a great time to be gay in America. But what really shocked me when I was reading David's book was really learning how systematically the government was going about tracking down and identifying and firing gay people and really ruining their lives. And I thought, this is amazing, this should be a film looked around and suddenly I found I was the one who was making the film. Got in touch with David Johnson and got to work on it. The Lavender Scare is an essential piece of gay history interwoven in the ups and downs of American civilization. The storyline of our film goes back to the 1920s in uh, the years following the, the start of the Great Depression when the U.S. government was hiring a lot of people to work in the uh, programs of the New Deal. The workforce in Washington increased fourfold in the 1930s. And a lot of people who came to Washington for those new jobs were gay, disproportionately so, because uh, it gave them an opportunity to leave small towns where they felt somewhat isolated and come to a larger city where gay people had begun to uh, gravitate. So the story really begins at a time when Washington was a very welcoming place for gay men and lesbians. While the world was making war, there was one who was interested in how people were making love. The book was supposed to provide sexual freedom, but the Kinsey Report had an unexpected impact. Well, it had the reverse effect because homosexuality was not something that the general population was really thinking about. The Kinsey Report comes out and says that 37 percent of American men have had at least one homosexual relationship. And that shocked people. And they're suddenly walking down the street thinking, I have one out of three people here. And, you know, who is it? And, you know, what about that guy? And it, it really provided the opportunity to play into the fears about sexuality and national security, as it turned out. 